Hey, got your text. Yeah, that was hours ago. Where you been? A movie, what's up? Your mother was in here before. She was hurt in a robbery at the GP clinic. A what? Some thug took her by surprise. He was after drugs, I think, or money to buy them. Oh, is she okay? Yeah, she was lucky. Uh, she sprained her wrist. A couple of days in a bandage to reduce the swelling, she'll be fine. A sprained wrist, that's it. And a hell of a shock. I think you should go and see her. Oh, if she was an HDU, maybe. Daniel, you're not getting it. Your mother was just robbed at knife point. Yeah, but she's gonna be okay. Well, that's not the point. She could use some support. Yeah, me too. For the last few days. I didn't get it, though, did I? Not from her. These just need your signature. There's nothing life-changing. That'll be William. Come in. Callum, you're back. Yes, yesterday. We probably crossed paths at the airport. How was the Solomons? Unbelievably hot, but worth it. I worked with a brilliant English surgeon, Derek Millard. He's keen to move to a more temperate climate. I thought we might entice him down here to join the surgical team. You didn't offer him anything, did you? No, I thought I'd talk to you guys first. You might want to run that past Ingrid Campbell as well. This time next month, you might be working for her. He's exaggerating. The DHB plan to downgrade us to a satellite of Central. I doubt they'll be interested in paying two heads of surgery. You don't know that. So it's just my head on the block, is it? Come in. Uh, excuse me, uh, William Nugent is here. Thank you, Gerald. Show him in. Coffee? Yes, please. Morning. Hi. William, take a seat. If you haven't done anything nasty to Mr. Spider, JJ won't be happy if you have. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, look, there he is, still in his little web. <laughs> He's had a lucky escape then. I was just about to get up there with a broom. A bit early for spring cleaning, isn't it? I have to do something with myself. Why I let the girls talk me into taking so much time off work, I really don't know. Well, they were worried about you, and they still are. There's no reason to be. I'm not incapacitated. Someone died. Someone you were really close to. If they're scared I'm going to fall apart, it's not going to happen. I've had enough grief in my life already to know how to cope with another lot. It's different every time, though, isn't it? I mean, Dad and Morgan, for example. It hit me in completely different ways. I think it is harder when someone's young. Like Morgan. Or Ben. You know, that's the first time anyone's actually said his name in days. Thank you. And don't you dare tell Maya. I'm fine, really. Tell you what, if you let Mr. Spider live, I will find you something else to keep you busy. <laughs> You're on. How are you at patching jeans? <laughs> I should have seen it coming after you started in on the PCC. Our biggest point of difference from Central and all the other hospitals in the region. Obviously, it had to go. We've been over this. But you're not denying it's part of a master plan. <laughs> of course there's a plan. What do you think they pay me for? I've often wondered, will you? Well, it's not to sit around and come up with new and exciting ways of making life miserable for Keller Mackay. So tell me, why did I have to hear it from my two IC? You weren't here. It's as simple as that. It came up in the context of the Helga trial. Rachel was acting CEO. It made sense to give her the bigger picture. After months of keeping me in the dark. You're determined to take this personally, aren't you? <laughs> William, it is hard not to when everything I have worked so very hard for is being swept away by a bunch of jumped-up bureaucrats. Here we go. More histrionics. You're famous for them. Is that so? Why do you think your job's in question? You're too much of a wild card. I can't help feeling a little responsible. If I'd stayed at work, I would have been there when the thief turned up. Sarah's not blaming anyone but herself. She should have known better than to take the guy on. True. Are you still planning to resign? I promised Sarah something in writing this morning. I emailed it first thing. It's a shame. That's for the best. I'm sure she agrees with me. Well, the way you walked off yesterday, she got the impression you wouldn't be working out your notice. To be honest, I wasn't intending to. And now? I take it Sarah's going to be out of action for a few days. At least, uh... She's worried about paying the rent. All right. I'll stay on for the rest of the week, but that's it. That's all she's asking for. <laughs> Give her my regards. I will. Actually, no, um, I'll go and see her. It's on my way. Oh, I'm sure she'll appreciate that, mate. Daniel. See ya. <clears throat> Hear that? Reuben can put aside his grudge to go and see your mum. I don't see why you can't. Hey, 
Thanks for doing those. I was considering just chopping them off up to here, making them into short shorts. Dreadful fashion. You see it everywhere. Leaves nothing to the imagination. It's OK if you've got the legs for it, like Maya. What about me? We're just talking about jeans. I'm fixing Nicole's, and I'm going to need another scrap of denim from somewhere. Uh, there's some upstairs and a box of fabrics under my bed. Lovely. I'll get it. No, no, you sit there. Let that polish dry. What is going on? Your mum's sewing and I'm just... Taking advantage. I am not. I don't believe this. Are you that thoughtless or just lazy? You did say the wardrobe, didn't you? No, under the bed. I won't find anything I shouldn't, will I? Mum! <laughs> We saw William leaving. He gave us a big smile and a wave. Yeah, I think I played right into his hands. He made one thing pretty clear. When they choose a new puppet to run this place, I won't be in the running. Would you want to? It'd be a big step down. Well, they're going to need someone who knows what they're doing. If they think they can run this place by remote from Central, they're dreaming. Well, I hate to say it, but I think that's where I come in. Why else did they put me here? They decided I needed a 2IC. At a time when every DHB in the country was under pressure to make cuts? Why go out of their way to create more middle management? Unless they were planning to slice off a tier later. And they've already told me my job's safe. I wanted to tell you. I just thought I'd wait until... Until I really needed cheering up. Until I had decided what to do about it. I can't see what any of us can do. The DHB can restructure management any old way they like. Well, that doesn't mean we have to make it easier for them. What do you mean? They're obviously counting on me for a seamless transition. Where else are they going to find someone with all my experience here? They're not. Nobody who wants the job anyway. So, the best thing I can do right now is resign. <laughs> 